Okay, we're back. I want to do another topic. And really, it's really, I'm not talking about the, I'm talking about Africa in general, because this pandemic is not only, uh, it sort of brought things together for other African nations. African nations have been doing something, or, or the, let's say the, 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 the powers that be are fighting, you know, the, the, the European powers are trying to do stuff. They're saying, wait a second, how come Africa is not really affected like this? European powers, I mean, whatever it have you, what, what, yeah. what, what's your read on that? What's going on on, 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 on that level? With the continent, the rest of the continent. Yeah. Because you know, uh, you, you know, there's supposed the supposed the hot spots. There's hot spots for 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 uh for um for COVID. We call it the Rona here. The hot spot for for Rona. Uh, you know, if you look at this spot, it was always like like for instance, yeah, South Africa. But when they say South Africa, they really mean the the centers that have airplane travel. You know what I mean? They have you know that have commerce. It's yeah. oh, you, you you see what I'm saying? But other areas are not affected. Yeah. Maybe because of isolation, whatever the real, really reason is. So, uh, so it really is about it. Really is about who you know, the, the the virus moves with people too, but it spreads faster with people, even though it's supposed to be, you know, I guess in the air or whatever it's, it's supposed to be in. I don't know or or whatever it is. What's yeah. happening with that? Because you know the biggest economies, of course, is you know South Africa. You got what uh, Nigeria, and if you look at the map. Um, it's in these places where where you don't get business happening. You know, you, you get international travel. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what what's happening now with us is like because they say South Africa has got a new strain of the virus. Because it's got a new strain of the virus, the British are blaming it on South Africa that came from South Africa. Are they the lying? Have, have picked up one strain and then. So now the British, uh, what uh, England, the British are actually saying it came from Africa. They lying, they them lying white white people. <laughs> why why couldn't it come over? Why couldn't it come from Germany or France? They're lying, they're they lying. They, oh oh. <laughs> they don't blame no, Ru Russia. Russia's Russia is, Russia is closer, or China is closer to 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 England than Africa is. I don't want to hear it. It's the South Africa is no dumb, dumb lion, whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. That's, that's, what, that's, that's, yeah, that's what they've been saying. So, so we are banned from traveling uh, to England and I think even to, to the EU, to the European Union. Yeah. Now, you know, okay, well, let, let me get this right. Let me get this straight because I remember Africa first said, hey, Europeans can't come down here. And now they're trying to reverse the thing for a blame game. Oh no! Now, they, I was supposed. I'm trying to get back to South Africa. I was thinking it's earlier now. I can go in February, but now with all this this thing. I don't even know what's going to happen. Ah oh, man, this is terrible. I I can't believe my bad luck yeah. with all this stuff. Uh, let me keep on with this. As you, as you know, they they're they're trying to do. Uh, you no, know, the vaccine is the big thing right now. Now, well, now I have a little bit of bona fides in, in in medicine, but more importantly, I know how to. I know what kind of, uh, of of medical people to listen to, you know. And of course, I ain't listening to no dead doctors, you know. I'm really well. You listen to doctors on the front line, but also it's the researchers or whatever have you. Now, the new kind of vaccine since the new virus, the, the the latest thing is this new kind of vaccine they're trying to give. It's not really the. It's it's it's. it's it's not really that usually vaccines used to be you take the strain, you know, you you, you take the live bacteria, you, you basically make people sick or whatever have you. But they have a, another thing, they, they they're trying to trigger some some responses in the in the in the body. So this vaccine is a little different. It, it and, and people that don't want to take the vaccine or whatever have you, it, it, it really is there. They're going on information about past things, you know, especially with black people with Tuskegee experiment and a bunch of other stuff, you know, even with AIDS or whatever have you. Uh, it's a different kind of thing, a different way they want to approach it, you know. Of course, everything is experimental. So uh, so yeah. the, the problem is when this vaccine comes out, unless they explain it, explain it thoroughly so people can understand, they won't understand it, you know. Where, which is where media comes yeah, yeah. in. Now, now you're a media person. What's going on with the media? How can the media are listening to politicians and idiots rather than, you know, going to sources? Come on, tell me what's... Why the media is so lazy? That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 the thing is with us, I think the, the problem is sometimes the media 
there, there's certain levels of embeddedness on the part of the media. Embeddedness in the sense that there are companies that sponsor, uh, whether they're involved in health research or health provision, but who sponsor or who, who you find the ownership networks are so uh, intertwined with media ownership that they, uh, they so the, then the, the, the result is that the journalists either would not critically question you know, stories that they put up, or uh, there's a fear that, you know, you will jeopardize the, the, the advertisers and, and that kind of thing. So, you, you know, the, 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 the money, um, uh, the revenue generators and that sort of thing. So there is, there is this uh, conundrum that we're caught in. Then on the other, on the other side, there is, there are, you know, one or two media that, that tend to take the other extreme as well. Um, so for me, what, what has been concerning is that, for instance, my colleagues at university, they seem to think that when people question the virus, why they must say, uh, um, you know, uh, vi vaccine, sorry, not a virus, why, why must they take the vaccine? Because people are naturally suspicious, because given historically they, where they come from and that they've been experimented in. We talk about Tuskegee. We haven't even talked about apartheid and the, the biological, biochemical laboratories that apartheid had set up, you know, to experiment on black people, the HIV, and there's a whole lot of that kind of stuff that's never been dealt with uh, in, a, in, a, in a truthful way uh, within the context of the TRC. So now you have, and, and black people, you know, when they were, were at the height of apartheid, the only uh, people that uh, uh, administered medicine in their in their residential areas were white people, and they were invariably uh, members of the national. They were intelligentsia of the nationalist party, or the you know part of the machinery of the Brute Born. Mm -hmm. So, so experimentation, whether it is in terms of. Uh, of uh, dealing with back control and what, so we have a history which is not good, and and in that context, then you bring in a vaccine, and for journalists not to understand that and not to and and to just see it as simply that there's denialist versus uh, the the science. So it's science and it's denialism, it's science. I think for me, it's not taking into account complexity of the situation and and so therefore there is that level of laziness but it's, it's there's a need to go into people and even understand people's own understandings of of vaccines and how vaccines have been used uh, to control them you know in the past and if you have to overcome this if you have to deal with uh, their openness towards this new vaccine you have to be as open as possible well, you know, you know, I'm not going to, I never put, I always have answers. You must know this by now. I always, they might seem whacked out answers only because I think they're like so far in the future. People don't understand what I'm talking about. Here's my answer to that. Because one of the big yeah. things, you know, because one of the faces of these vaccines is Bill Gates. And, you know, people, you know, Bill Gates is hated. Yeah. People, people don't understand, you know, he might, he's hated. But here's the thing. Yeah. I think the way to do this yeah. is simple as that. You have to take, there's going to be a profit that's made from these vaccines, whatever have you. You have to take portion of that profit and th that money and give it to the people. You understand? In other yeah, words, yeah. What, 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 what we see, especially, you know, if we're talking about uh, what, we, what, what, we, what we call these, what I call these days, ADOS, you know, American descendants of, of slavery. Right. We're always on the bottom and we're being preyed upon. You know, the, I always, you know, I call it the downtrodden. The downtrodden is always being preyed upon, and they look everywhere to take the resources, to take any kind of income, any kind of, you know, any any kind of finance out. Well, you have to turn turn that around. So you say, oh no, you can't have. Uh, I'm just going to put some other. You can't have. You can't have a hundred percent of the profits. You know, I'm sorry, but you can only have, uh, you know, ten percent. The other ninety percent, that's going back to the people for what we need to do. You understand what I'm saying? In other words, it, the, the profit motive yeah. has to be taken out and given to the people who need it. That's that. That's my solution to that in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I think I think you are spot on. You are spot on. There's no other way. I mean that 
you know, I, you're so spot on, Oya Slow, because that's the only way to kind of deal with with this situation. And also, it's the um, a recognition of of uh, uh, the fact that we cannot do. It's not business as usual. Uh, That's now the point. we have to think new ways of doing things. And, 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 and I think for me, that's, that's uh, uh, quite critical. For instance, a, a few, I, I think it was a few days ago, I read somewhere, I don't know whether it's fake news or it's the real news, but it says that Bill Gates was, was uh, propagating the idea that governments must uh, indemnify the, the, the vaccine companies. So in the event that, for instance, something goes yes. wrong, then yes. the government uh, indemnifies them, which for me even raised more suspicion that what the heck, you know, here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the government have to indemnify you. What are you doing with your profits that you generate out of it? So it's, it's that kind of uh, thing as well, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay, well, listen, I, I you know, I don't, whew, man. Just tell me, how are you, man? How's the family? What's what's going on? How are you all affairing with all this stuff? What's what's going on? It's all right, man. Yeah, we just had a uh, lunch now, and the uh, the the only thing is uh, is is Uki, who is self isolating because she uh, she gives a lift. She's got a lift club with uh, a couple of friends, and one of the friends uh, um, contracted COVID. So and then she had to go and test, and she tested negative. So she's is busy now, kind of treating uh, uh, under treatment. Yeah. Well, yeah, so I forgot. The, the, I forgot about that. Dude. South yeah. Africa has a very bad situation because you, uh, because of transportation situations, you have to, for lack of a better term, ride share. All taxis are is like a ride sharing, you know, and and, and of course exactly. the, the culture, the culture means that you have to you have to rub up on some, some somebody. You know what I mean? You this isolation. It's not a very good, and then just the whole socialization, you know, how is that impacting the society? Let me put it that way. Yeah, yeah. No, no, with, uh, with us, it's been, the taxis have been one source of uh, transmission. The other one has been um, um, the uh, funerals where people gather to bury, and then the, the, the third one was the churches. So oh, those, of course. And of course, I mean, and and so on. I was about to say, if you say churches, you might as well say shabins also. <laughs> in fact, yeah. I would put it. Oh, no. <laughs> and you know, and then when people get inebriated, they really go, oh, this is my friend. We'll get sick together. <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah. They'll come up with some cute thing to say. And how, again, you're in media. How do you, how do you not convince? See, part of my problem with this is that, okay, vaccines is one thing. But building the immune system is another yeah. thing. Now, remember, here is at least yeah. most areas, well, you, I live in a rural area, so it's a, it's a different thing because we have really, we have nutritious food. But when now you got people yeah. eating all this processed food, which can't help the, uh, your immune system much. There's no access yeah. really to supplements. You know, I, I guess you can, I mean, you, you know, how many people got a moringa tree grown in their backyard? You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's not yeah. possible yeah. to get the stuff that, that could, um, you know, boost the immune system, you know? The, uh, you know, so, yeah. some, uh, you know, elderberry and, and vitamin E and, and all the rest of this stuff, well, um, it's still not affordable to, to the general populace, or is, and, and of course, nobody's pushing that. You know, everybody's saying social distance mask, whatever it is. So I just, ah, yeah. oh, man. Yeah. <sighs> no, no, definitely, definitely. That's, a, that's this is the thing with, with uh, but they are, you know, Sloan, there are initiatives like in Makanda, there's, um, we're now working with communities there, the initiatives around dealing with crime at the street level. I went to visit a, 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 in fact, I didn't go for a regular visit. I was, I was called. It was an emergency. They said, I must come, come over. You know, another relative of mine they called me and then I rushed through there. When I arrived there, she, they had a, you know, some kind of minor squabble, family related, you know, mm. two uh, siblings having a problem. Mm. Whilst I was busy attending to that, there was a, another sibling who, came into the house and went out. In fact, he's the one that, that I met outside as I was coming in. 
and he came out, he went, came in, and once I was there, and then he, he said, no, he's coming back now, he's going across the road, and he went. As soon as he had left the house, uh, in, in a matter of a few minutes, we just heard whistling, the, the bells, the whistles, the, 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 you know, the whistles for the, for, for, for um, the police. Uh, Refereeing, yeah, refereeing uh, matches and so on, yeah, they, 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 that the police use also. But they were whistling every, but it was residents, and they were whistling ah. and they were mobilizing, and I knew that there's something wrong. So, and they came closer to the house, and he ran, came into the house, ran straight, and and as soon as he ran into the house, he said, "Let's lock the door, lock the door." I said, "No, I mean, how do you lock? Can't just lock the door without knowing what the hell is going on." Because I locked the door, then people kicked the door, you know open and what so I, I sat in there I closed the door I said I close it don't lock it the, you must sit there what what's going on and he wouldn't uh, tell me he said no they are after him and this and that. what it was his story was not together mm. then uh, I said hey you must sit there because if people come in they will ask they see that we are you know calm and we're sitting down they will ask they will send one or two people because that's what we want and I will deal with them when they come into the house. Then, eventually, they were marching up and down because they thought the door was locked. They're marching up and down in the house. They're swearing, man. They're swearing at him and whatever. I asked him again, what happened? And then it appeared that he had done, he had broken into somebody's house. But I didn't even get that story from him until I, then I called the police because I knew that these people are going to get angry and they're going to come into the house. Then they will they will kill him mm. because then now they're not going to, from what I'm hearing them swearing, they're not going to stop mm. if I, I, I try to talk to them. So I call the cops, look, can you please come, you know, send somebody urgent. Mm. The cops came, then this pep had broken into a woman across the road, a house, and she was the leader of that group. She sat down, when she came in, she sat down, she was very respectful. When she saw me, she apologized, she didn't know there was an L an elder in the house and so on, apologize for swearing as well. Anyway, then they, then the cops, they explained, and this chap basically, uh, he had, uh, he is he, been troublesome, even at, at our house, at my relative, he's always troublesome. So to cut the long story short, it was for me an organized, a beautiful organized citizen uh, action to deal with crime. This is interesting. And, and so, but, when the cops uh, were saying, look, they can't do anything, I said to them, no, you can do something, you can take this chap away with you to the cells, at least so that he sleeps there. Because if you leave him here, I know the law says that you can't arrest him, but if you leave him here, he's going to be killed by, by people here. And there's a process that he's supposed to go through in the, with the law and so on. And this woman, she also already said that she doesn't want to have him sleep here because he'll feel unsafe at the house. So let him take him away, and they took him away. So that's one. The other one is a community in a, a, a several streets there. They went out, they picked up all the rubbish, and you know, in, in uh, especially in the Eastern Cape, there's a lot of, there's a problem of plastic bags, mm. you know, that people throw everywhere. PE is called the flower of the nation because it's always everywhere, you yeah. know. It's decorate the whole the whole area. So there, they pick up the, the plastics, they pick up the dead, they pick up everything, they clean their streets. They were just doing the street by street. All the people of that street would clean the street. Then they said, we've cleaned now the street. We don't want anybody to mess up the street again. Mm. If they do, we'll deal with them. So it, there are those initiatives. And for me, that's a hope for the future. That's where we should be. Uh, really uh, focusing all our energy. So, for instance, the area on the life you were talking about, uh, for me, that's that those kinds of initiatives could assume a, a central role. It's 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 like informing them. I think the role of the students now is to to kind of to to have sessions where they explain how life works and let the citizens then see how we can uh, uh, make use of and exploit this possibility, you know, for development. This is very interesting. I, I don't know if you, under, you understand this exactly. You, you don't see it when, when I'm with you, whatever, but I'm, a, I'm an incredible, I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly 
hooked up to the spiritual world. Let me put it that way. Let me just leave it at that. Yeah. But what you just described is yeah. exactly what we're, what we're doing in Dumbaza. I need you. I don't understand why I can't get you and Miss Loli to talk to each other. Y'all got phones. Y'all need to talk to each other. Ex the exact scenario that you just did, you just said, we dealt with. We've been dealing with in Dumbaza. They, they, in fact, the bosses basically they, they they've neutralized their, their their police department. They don't trust the police department is part of the problem. The police department is hooked up with the with the gangs, with the criminals, and so they they do the same. They they just apply their own just. What I'm trying to say is that it, it it's like it's in the air. It's a spirit. It's in the air, and I think it's, it it could be worldwide. But I, let me just keep. It should be a a, a southern African wide where the, the the local things, the villages take care of it. Uh, uh, and, 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 and so I'm hopeful. I just need y'all to start talking to each other. I'm hopeful. Let me give you a yeah, yeah. Let, let me give you a, a newspaper, a, a story I heard a few years ago. There was this uh, yeah. a, a area in a, a village or whatever this area in Mexico, and I know the area because yeah. it's, it's run by women. It's very interesting because yeah. what they did was they got rid of the politicians and the police force and the gangs. Yeah. And they'll find. Think about that. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Now, yeah. Listen, now That's here. Great. Now here's the thing. No, here's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. When I go back to my own childhood in the South Bronx, you know, in the Mount Haven section of the South Bronx, what, 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 when they yeah. let they intentionally, and this has been documented, they intentionally let the drugs come into because the gangs were you were, they, they were afraid that the gangs were going to be. Uh, politicized because usually we our gangs we just it was a turf thing we protecting our turf you know what I mean you know you, you can't just come into our area you know so you had to go through the gangs and you, you have that in Cape Town you have that other places right but here's the thing because the the powers that be were so afraid because of you know Malcolm was around at the time James Baldwin you know there was a, the, the northern movement wasn't like the southern leadership conference they, that's a southern Christian movement nah the north was something else right and so they were afraid so what they intentionally what happened was the Italians, you know, with, with the drugs, the, the and the police. Remember, you have you have you have you have Italian people on the police force, and the politicians all allow the drugs to come in to the South Bronx and also the Lower East Side. They figured this was contained areas, right? And so those three entities, yeah. the same thing: the politician, the gangs, and 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 the, and the let's let's call it the police, or you know, whatever you want to. You call these people the FBI, CIA, whatever you want to call them, allow this to happen. Of course, when it gets out of out of control, they 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 they, they figure out other ways to keep on, you know, preying on the community. So I'm I'm okay. suggesting this. I'm suggesting that in every scenario, as far as historically, as far as, far as I can, can see, and uh, also I can see all uh, places I've traveled in the world. It's the same thing. The 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 the. Yeah. The, the politicians get paid off by whoever, they get paid by whoever, and there's at least there's three entities that destroys the, the, the community. And you have to get rid of, you have to um, um, uh, uh, bridle these three entities or, or get rid of them or something like that. I don't know what it is. And you can see it clearly. You know, you, if you, you can see it clearly. So I, 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 I don't know. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> no, okay. no, man. Yeah, no, no, so, so, man. So I'm 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 glad so I'm 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 wondering there should be other areas if like I say this is in the air that means there's other areas all throughout the world in Southern Africa and rest of Africa that have the same these small communities are are, are 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 dealing with their own crime you know their their own criminals and 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 that's the way it should be you know maybe I'm wrong with that. So anyway, so uh, so so look, Sheppy, I don't want to keep you long. Yes, I do want to keep you long. I, I can talk to you, but I have to. I want to talk some other political stuff, but not right now. Oh, I, I should ask, do you have any questions for me? Hey, oh, but I should do it that way. No, at this stage, at this stage, just uh, uh, otherwise, I, 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 you guys, how, how is the the, the COVID uh, situation there? I mean, is it, uh, is it a bit better now with the transition to? To a new uh, uh, regime, so to speak. You know, oh no! Don't, don't even don't even think about no new regime change. Look, I call. Let me put it this way: You had yeah. Donald. Everybody's so interested in Donald Trump. I'm going like you idiots, right? Like I'm going, you idiots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I no, have no idea what you're getting with. I call Biden. I call <laughs> Biden. Donald Trump zero yeah. point. That Donald Trump. Donald Trump zero point five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Biden is yeah, Donald yeah. Trump yeah. zero point five. 
Now, check this out. Uh-huh. Harris, the new vice uh-huh. president, she is yeah. oh, she is Obama to uh, she is Obama uh, 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 one point five, right? I was yeah, I say one point five and Clinton two point oh. Or something like that. Maybe I, maybe I say, she, she, she's let me let, let me make it easier so people understand it. I call her Obama 2.0 and Clinton 3.0. So we in trouble no matter what. Okay? Forget the political thing because they don't run things anyway. They just and, and you know they hide. There's this whole I want to get this whole, there's this whole political thing that's happening. It's 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 uh, I have to take another time with this because it's going to take too long for me to explain the situation. But you know, it's all yeah. it's all facade. It's all facade. It's, it's yeah. what they call identity politics is really bad now. You know what I mean? Because they put yeah. all kinds of women and 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 and, and black faces in places. And you look at these people, you say, wait a second, this might be a black person, but this person is worse than this person. This might be a woman, this person is worse than this person. And they yeah. put in positions of power, and it's just not going to fly. And, and I have this other thing that I, I've got a new yeah. term. Okay, I got a term for you. I, I invented a new term, okay? Hey, you ready for this? Okay, yeah. now you know you have what's called the yeah. ne- you have the neocons, right? The the neoconservatives, right? So called new conservatives, yeah. you know, and they do all kinds of you know retrogressive things. Call them you know retrogressive things, and, and you 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 can just say that basically I call them fake conservatives. A real conservative wouldn't be doing neoconservative. Then you have to call the ne- the neo uh, uh, liberals, right? The neo libs, right? Yeah. Again, they're supposed to be liberals. But they do, they're fake liberals. They, they, they don't have the t- tradition of a real liberal, right? Not, not from where it comes from. They, they've gained the system. Here's my latest one. Neo-pros for neo-progressives. Neo-progressives. You know? And these, and these are people who put that progressive label on but they're fake progressives. So you got the ne- so basically yeah. the neocons, the neolibs, and the neopros are our new enemy. Enemy of what? Enemy of the yeah. peoples. <laughs> Say it that way. Yeah, yeah, no, no. The, um, so they they make no difference yeah. to me at all because as long as this this whole economic factor is in the thing, then you then, then we have a problem. You know. Yeah. Let, let let me put it this way. I I I, I people. There's this new film that's out, you know, on Netflix called uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, right? And I, I don't know. You go to my YouTube channel. I just put up a whole uh, thing on that. And what you realize is that they keep on saying black people on the bottom, black people, and they are on the bottom. But black people are on the bottom economically, just like South yeah. Africa. You know, uh, the the people are on the bottom economically. Everything else, culturally, you know, spiritually, whatever you want to say, we're not on the bottom. Yeah. But because the world, yeah. the, because the world is into this economic thing, or I should say, this fiat economic thing, then they're the yeah. ones that get the because they with this fiat things they can control the press, they can control the politicians, they can control this, control that, whatever it is. And 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 uh, there's this. And I I need you to. Uh, uh, I've been. This is a whole other thing. But the economics is about to change because you know, the dollar's crashing. The dollar's going to crash. The whole economic system is going to change. People don't realize this. COVID is really a blessing. And so you really have to pay attention to Bitcoin. That's all I have to say. And when I say cryptocurrencies, not just cryptocurrency, forget that, but Bitcoin, because my my thing, I'm so now you got me off on something. Bitcoin is a new, yeah. it'll be a different paradigm. You have to study yourself. I'm not going to get into it right now. But what will happen with cryptocurrencies, you'll have Bitcoin that will be the worldwide currency. In other words, the, uh, uh, the, the, the dollar won't be the currency. It'll be the worldwide currency. However, They'll be in little areas, like say, you know, in in, in 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 the Eastern Cape. You'll have your own currency just for the Eastern Cape thing. Sure, Bitcoin would be the big thing, but then you have these other little currencies. The way I can explain this easier is that when Greece, well, not Greece, when the Italians fell, right? What happened was, yeah. you know, the old currency that the, the Italians had, the mafia amongst themselves for their own body, whatever it is, they used the old currency. Yeah. In other words, yeah. When 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 um when uh when 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 Bitcoin takes over, when cryptocurrency takes over, then you 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 can have your own currency based on the, I don't want to say it like this, but not based on the rand. But the point is, you the, the the small communities will barter within themselves for certain things, but then we have to interact yeah. with the, with the bigger society. You use you use a crypt. 
I'm saying Bitcoin because it's it, because of the protocol of Bitcoin and, and all that stuff. I'm not doing these other currencies because they're all gaming currencies. You know, they game the system with that. So that's my economic head. Of course, I'm not an economic person. I'm just a small audio dramatist, you know, but that's that's what it is, you know. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. So just so chew on that. Thank you for 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 this. Uh, look, man, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm here for another. It's uh, another day tomorrow. I uh, uh, I go to uh, East St. Louis for just overnight to talk to a, a friend of mine. I'm, I'm I'm trying to work on some some theater stuff. Yeah. Some other some other stuff. Henry Dumas back on the thing, and I've got to really work on that. Uh, and then uh, 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 I'll be in Virginia next month. So let me call you when I'm in Virginia. I want to talk to you hello? again. Some, uh, yeah, hello? You there? Can you hear me? Sheppy? Yeah. 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 No, I can hear you now. Yeah. So when so when uh when I'm in Virginia, yeah. I'm gonna I call can hear you, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna call you when I'm in Virginia next month. Uh I gotta talk to you uh ne next month. Then uh, yeah. and they'll see what happens. But it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for this. Yeah. No, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Take care, man. Okay. Take care. Go well. Mali just wants to say hi. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hey, Mali. Mali yeah. Bongwe. Yo, man. Are you are you uh, are you are you a, a master musician? Huh? Yeah, are you a master musician yet? <laughs> what? What's what's taking you so long to be a master musician? <laughs> <laughs> We we, we 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 surrounded you with the mass musicians in in in, in, uh, in Cape Town. We, we your, your your father is is basically you know uh, 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 you know an academic in, in in musicianship or whatever have you. He has all he has all the records or whatever have you. We send you off to school and you come back. Now what are you telling me now? What's going on? No man, slow. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, man, what's up? And talk to me. You know, just you know, dead air, man. You this, this is like just like radio. Don't be uh, shutting up. Maybe. What's going on? Tell me something good. Tell me what what's what it's like. What, what what's the young people? What's the young people going through? Yeah. Are you sure. gonna, are you gonna be shy on me? Do, do I have to learn some closer to speak to you? Okay, it's all right. Look, I gotta go, man, because I gotta post this up on YouTube. Yeah. You know, but I'm pushing, man, like my flute, yeah. Yeah, I'm pushing some stuff, yeah. I got some ideas, some compositions I'm doing. Oh, okay, that's good. All right. Well, the composition yeah. in, in what, 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 what genre? What musical genre? And what, what musical genre are you working in? Are you doing jazz? Yeah, I'm just writing for some people. Yeah. Are you writing? But, but in, in in what genre? I mean, are you creating your own genre? I mean, uh, you know, is this, is this like, what is it, what is it, yes, jazz? I'm, I'm working with, the, no, with my, my colleagues, the guys I'm studying at, at, at TUT, I'm working some small projects. So if they need help, I'll help them finish the project, yeah. So we combine different, like, styles of music, yeah. Like, mostly African, yeah, stuff. Well, to tell me the kind of forms you're talking about. What kind of forms? Like African music, African music, yeah. Look, Africa is like a big jazz and other African stuff, yeah. Let's stop. Hey, you know who you're talking to. Hold on. Let, let, let's let's start all over again. Africa is a continent, right? We have a lot of musical forms. You know, are you talking yeah. about the people you put the musical forms that come out of the uh, out of the Congo, you know, you doing some freaking are you talking about things that are coming out of Madagascar? Ethiopian, yeah, Ethiopia. Ethiopia, okay, okay. Yeah, Ethiopian, yeah. Yeah. What 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 other what other forms? What other people? What other people is there working with you? Um, this guy from Swaziland, brother Bongsa, yeah. he's from Swaziland originally. Oh, I love Swaziland. From Swazi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swaziland. Yeah. Well, it's a teeny. You get get with the name. It's not Swaziland no more. It's a teeny. Get 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 it straight, brother. Oh yeah yeah. <laughs> Okay, man. Look, I'm gonna have to talk to you separately whenever you get a chance to talk. I know you musicians don't really like to talk. You express yourselves through your yeah. music. <laughs> yeah, we don't like yeah. Only through our instrument, yeah, we, we express ourselves, yeah. We so, don't like to talk, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so so let me ask you some uh um uh, 
So when you say you working with people, are you in just composition, or are you are you band leading, or what what's what's going on? I mean, do you, what, what, when you say you're working with, is it just composition, or you were you know most of most of, most of you young people, most of the young people in your category would be working on their beats or something like that. You know, I mean, what 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 do you what uh, explain to me? Oh, like I'm working on beats, yeah, like compositions, yeah, because they use logic, yeah, to make some stuff, yeah. Oh, the, the logic, the program, the the software. Yes, yeah, they use that. So I, I just help them, yeah, and stuff yeah, if they need help, yeah, mm. for certain things. Well, what, let me ask you because because you have you have uh, you, you go to a technical technical. You, 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 it's a musical school, right? Right, and people are coming from all over. What's that atmosphere like? I mean, tell me, tell me a little bit about it. Yeah. Oh, you too. Yeah, yo, it's very nice, um, um, brother Sloan. Yeah, yo, I've learned a lot. Yeah, from at university. Yeah. Mm. Like I've learned so much, man. Because yo, there's so much talented guys, man. You know, like yeah, yeah, there's guys that they, they they come from the rural areas, but yo, they when it comes to practicing, ah, they're good, man. They can play like very well. Yeah. So there's so much of these guys. Yeah. So you said so they they have a lot of discipline. You know, the, uh, yeah. You know, you know, there's a there's a thing. There's a, there's a sort of a, a, a release or a joyousness in in creating and and, yes. and 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 performing music. And when you're young, you have that kind of energy. Yes. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. is that is that's what driving this? What, what, tell me what's going on. Yeah, that's what's driving them. Yeah, because they 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 they, they you find it, they have a lot of gigs and stuff. They perform. You know. But most of these guys are uh, disadvantaged, but still they can, when it comes to playing, yeah, they can play like very well, yeah, and stuff, yeah. So it's a combination maybe of maybe some church hymns that they've listened to growing up, you know, and stuff like that, yeah. Mm. Well, well, one more thing, I, you know, I can talk to you forever also. Let, let me ask you this. Now, what, you know, there's this famous thing from James Brown when he says, you know, um, the music the music industry is, is, is music business, you know? So it's like whatever percentage yeah. music and whatever, and it's a huge percentage of business. Uh, are, are you all dealing with the business aspect of music also, or what's going on? Yes, yeah, we have a subject which, which is dealing with the, the business, yeah. It's called Arts at Men, yeah. It mm -hmm. deals with the business side of, of things like legal contracts and stuff like that, yeah. Uh. Okay, and uh, well, one, yeah. one, what, what, um, one, one. Oh, my wife is trying to call me. I have to call her back. Uh, yeah. Okay, man. Let, let let me get off right now because I want to talk to my wife. Okay, sure. You know, and I I talk okay, cool, I man. talk to you later. Thanks, man. Y'all take care. Okay, cool. All right, later. Yeah, you take care. Yeah, thanks, man. All right. Later.